I wore a hat last time I was on here. I really need to switch up my style. Hi guys, I'm Liv and I'm anti-social and that's partially the reason why I'm making this video. You see, I'm trying to find myself a girlfriend and I can't get a girlfriend and the thing is, it's not because I'm ugly. That's not the reason I can't get a girlfriend. Like, I'm decently attractive. I'm not like attractive, but I'm not like ugly. I'm like somewhere in between there where I could get a girlfriend and can't get a girlfriend. My problem is girls are so freaking pretty and I am so awkward around them. What are you doing, Ty? Once a girl complimented my plugs, right? She was so pretty, and I got so awkward and so flustered that I didn't even reply, so now she thinks I'm a jerk. It's not my fault the universe decided to make girls so pretty. But anyways, I am about to do what every lesbian does when they want a girlfriend but don't want to get out the house. We are about to do a quiz. I need to find out what should I look for in a girlfriend, who would be the right girlfriend for me, and the only way to do that is to do a quiz, so let's do this. I remember. I um, saw this really pretty girl and I ran into a pole. I'm not even joking. I legit ran into a pole because I am an idiot. I don't get that. Like, that's movie stuff. That's stuff that happens in movies. I, my life is a freaking comedy movie. We're gonna figure out the kind of girlfriend that is right for me. It has 21 questions and it's in the category for men, so I guess they're gonna assume I'm a guy, whatever. What is your favorite pastime? Watching or playing sports? Watching movies? Adventuring outdoors? It varies, whatever I feel like at the time. Playing music, riding bikes, reading. I literally do all of the above, so I'll just do it various whatever I feel like at the time. Your mood is generally suicidal, where is it? No, that's not funny. It depends, okay? Like, if you get to know me, I'm like happy um, often. I'm like, yo, I'm Liv, hi, love you. But I'm, I'm rarely grumpy. I'm rarely amused. No, that's not true, I'm actually amused quite easily. Bored? I'm not really ever bored. Stoked? I don't even know how that can be a mood. Introverted. I'm just gonna go... Okay, let's just say if you don't know... <laughs> ah, that's hard. Should I go with introverted or happy? We'll just say introverted, because I'm an introvert. Your biggest turnoffs. Oh god, okay, wow. I actually don't have that many turnoffs because I'm like desperate at this moment that I like everybody. A bad attitude, oh, that is a big turn off. I hate when people have bad attitudes, they're like jerks. And it's like, dude, come on, you don't have to be a jerk. Bad sense of humor, I don't care if you have, don't have, if you have bad sense of humor. Bad sense of humor or, is funny to me, cause it's like, God, that was so stupid, I love you. Boring people, I can care less if you're boring, I'm boring. Neediness, eh, you can be needy. High maintenance people, unintelligent people. My, I guess bad attitude, other stuff I don't really care about, but if you have a bad attitude, that is a real bad turn off. Where do you usually meet girls? <laughs> oh, that's so rude. <laughs> I don't meet girls. All of the concerts I've been to, girls talk to me there, so we'll do concerts. A perfect first day first date activity is watching a sports game, seeing stand-up comedy, trying something new for both of you, eating at a high-end restaurant, just relaxing, listening to music, going for a walk, going to a poetry reading, a museum. Oh! Museum! I love museums. Okay. You guys don't know this, I'm like obsessed. I love museums. I love going to museums. I love art museums. They're actually opening a new museum where, I'm, where I live. It's about um, human rights and I'm gonna so go there. Yeah, museum is like the ultimate first date. I love museums. Ideally, we have a lot in common with our partners. Imagine someone is buying a present for you to share. What do you want? No, I don't want anything. I hate when people buy presents for me. I feel so weird. Since it's a ticket to a favorite sports team. Honestly, you can't really do this because if you give me anything, I'm going to be happy because I'm like, oh, you thought of me. That's cool. So I really could care less. Improved classes, motorcycle lessons, a luxury spa weekend, camping gear, pottery classes. Ooh, I want to do pottery. I, I see people do pottery on online and it looks so freaking cool. Actually, if you give me pottery classes, it would be so awesome. Choose an actress, Rachel McAdams, Aubrey Platt, Emma Watson, Jennifer Lawrence, Kristen Stewart. My gay self is gonna go for, dang it. My gay self don't know whether I should go for Kristen Stewart or Emma Watson because they're a gay girl's dream. <laughs> I'm gonna go Emma Watson. I like Emma Watson, she's cute. My perfect girlfriend will always cheer me up when I'm sad. No, that's that's not gonna happen. I don't think anyone should be, um, anyone's job should be to cheer someone up when they're sad. Make me laugh and smile. I don't think it's anyone's job to make someone laugh or smile. Challenge me? Be able to take care of herself? I mean, 
I don't really, I don't know. Be one of the guys, teach me new things. We'll just say teach me new things, because if I had a girlfriend and she liked teaching me things, I'd be happy because I like learning things. So we'll do teach me new things. When you get upset, what makes you feel better? Being around friends? Nope. Funny movies? I think exercise, because normally when I'm like really messed up, I go for a chalk, so I'll go exercising. And I get messed up a lot, because I have a mental disorder. My biggest flaw is lack of motivation. I am a big pessimist. I literally think things are gonna go wrong all the freaking time. Which area in your life is most fulfilling? Career, social life, inner life. Um, my career. If I'm not making money, I hate myself. What kind of pet do you want? A cat! I want a cat! I got a cat! I got a good fat cat! <laughs> What's the one chore you hate the most? Oh, dude, I hate laundry. I hate when I have to go wash my clothes because, ugh, oh, I just hate it. I'm sorry. What kids do you want? I hate kids. Zero. I have a cat. My cat's enough kid. How you feel about surprises? I'll just say I love them. I like surprises. I just don't want no wonderful force to give me a surprise or something. The most important aspect of a relationship is communication, intimacy, having good social life, supporting each other, sharing a sense of humor. Communication or supporting each other. Yeah, communication is better because you, you can know what's wrong and stuff. What's your social life like? <laughs> no, don't ask me this. Stop calling me out. I don't have any friends at all. What do you put to this? Anyways, choose a place to vacation in. I want to go to New York because there's a lot of people. Love a challenge. So you need a super smart girlfriend who always knows the right thing to say and knows things without having to look them up on her phone. A bookworm will match your love of learning, intellectual engagement, and book swapping. Oh, that would be so cool if you dated someone and they liked books as much as you do. Dude, that'd be so awesome. Hmm, I didn't know that. So now when I go to the library, that's where I have to find my girlfriend. I'm gonna go to a library and find a girlfriend there. Oh my god, do you know what that mean if I date a nerd? That sounds so wrong. We can sit and watch documentaries all day. Because I love documentaries, but no one in my life likes watching documentaries. I can sit there and watch like 50 documentaries in a day. But no one wants to do that with me because it's boring. It's like it's educational, it's cool, you learn new things. Like, come on. So if I date someone who likes documentaries just like I do, it would be the best thing in the whole entire world. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, you should subscribe to this channel because I upload every Friday. Don't forget to check out the other members of this channel. They are freaking awesome. But anyways, as always, stay rad, stay positive. I love your existence. Goodbye.